Hello and welcome to today's health education lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. Then we can open our eyes and come back to the room. And next we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And let's begin with some rotations, guys. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right. Very good. Next, we'll do five stretches to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, guys. Now we'll do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, Four, five, and now we'll shake it out. Arms and legs, that's how we shake. Shake it out. Next, we'll take our right hand and we'll find our left foot. And then left hand, right foot. Right hand. Left foot, left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. And to finish, guys, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. Have a seat. So in our previous health education lesson, we learned about some of the things that can affect our environment. Now, does anybody remember the term we gave to these various things? They were called environmental, environmental. Factors. factors. Now, what that means, the word factors means things that can affect something. And now we're talking about the environment so we mean environmental factors. So first of all, I'll write that phrase on the board. Environment is spelt E-N-V-I-R-O-N-M-E-N-T. Environment. And then factors is spelt F-A-C-T-O-R. S. So all together, guys, environment, in fact, environmental, <laughs> environmental. 
factors. Okay. Now, let's think back to the previous lesson. There were three different factors. Can anybody remember some of the things that affect our environment? Things that make us feel bad or unhealthy. Air pollution. Excellent. That is one of them. Air pollution. Pollution is a very big term and causes lots of problems. So we divide that into different categories. And the first one was, as Prel says, air pollution. How do we spell air, guys? A-I-R. And pollution, P-O-L-L-U-T-I-O-N. Excellent. Air pollution. And then there was another type of pollution too. Not in the air. Water pollution. Well done, Lakau. Yes. Sometimes our rivers, our oceans, and our lakes can be very dirty and unhealthy. And that's what we call water pollution. So water is spelled W-A-T-E-R. And pollution again, P-O-L-L-U-T-I-O-N. Very good. So we've got the two types of pollution. And the third factor was something else that can make us unhealthy. It's not quite pollution. It's more to do with insects and animals. If we get a bite off something, what might we get? It begins with D. Disease. Yes, we talked about disease too. D-I-S-E-A-S-E. -S -E -E. Okay, guys. So these are the three environmental factors. One more time together. Air pollution. Water pollution. And disease. So who can remember? Who can give me some examples of things that can cause air pollution? What type of things cause our air to be unhealthy? If we go outside and we see lots of smoke and things, what causes the smoke? We have to travel somewhere. What do we travel in sometimes? Cars, yes. Cars produce lots of smoke. Not just cars, any type of vehicle. Motorbikes, vans. Buses and cars, they all produce a type of smoke, and that is a cause of air pollution. So we can say smoke. K E. Now, smoke isn't only produced by cars. Sometimes you see the big buildings where lots of things are being made. Not a big building like a school, but a place where things are being made is called factory. Yes, sometimes you'll see the big plumes of smoke rising out the top of the building and going into the environment. And that is another cause of air pollution through smoke. Now, now moving on to water pollution. Smoke doesn't affect the water because smoke goes up. But what sort of things make our rivers and streams dirty? What type of things, if you see in, on the television or in pictures, if you see a dirty river, what might you see? Trash, yes. Lots of people don't dispose of their trash properly. They're rubbish. They'll allow it just to go anywhere. Things like plastic bags, straws, plastic bottles, and they end up in the oceans or the rivers. And this is an example of water pollution. So we can write the word trash, T. R-A-S-H. Now, trash is another word for rubbish. So let's write that too. But not only trash and rubbish. Remember in the previous lesson, the video, when we seen the picture of all the horrible liquid going into the river? Does anybody remember the brown horrible liquid that was going into the river that was causing the water to be polluted? Does anybody remember what that was? It's a word called toxic. Yes, what they were, they were toxic chemicals. T-O-X-I-C. Now, toxic is a special word. Basically, it means dangerous. If you see the word toxic, don't eat, don't drink, it's dangerous. And the things that comes from factories, like smoke, but that affects water, are chemicals. Sometimes factories get rid of liquids that are unhealthy and they are called 
toxic chemicals. Okay, so they're examples of water pollution. And now the final category that we learnt about, disease. We learnt about insects. Now what type of insects do we know about that carry disease? If they bite us, we might get sick. And we have them around this area too in Chiang Rai. Anybody remember beginning with m? Mos mosquitoes, yes, we have to be very careful of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes like to feed on our blood. So mosquitoes will try and land on us and try to drink our blood. But what mosquitoes carry? Mosquitoes carry disease. Yes, so when they're drinking our blood, they'll pass on a disease, a disease known as dengue fever, a very dangerous disease we have to be careful of. So a cause of disease, insects. There are others that we're going to learn about in today's lesson, but the main one we know of is mosquitoes. So one final time, guys. Air pollution, Air pollution. caused by smoke, from cars and factories. Water pollution caused by trash or rubbish and toxic chemicals. And the third and final factor was disease caused by insects such as mosquitoes. Guys, that was brilliant, very well remembered. And what we're going to do in today's lesson is we're going to move on a stage further. I have a question. Air pollution, water pollution and disease. Is this good for our health or bad? If we have a disease, is it good or bad? It's bad, yes. So it's what we call health hazards. What we're going to do today is we're going to bear in mind the air pollution the water pollution and disease. And we're going to talk about health hazards so that we can be aware and keep ourselves safe from these different types of hazards. So what we've got now is a PowerPoint presentation for our students to observe, listen to, and also practice speaking of the different types of health hazards. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, please, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about health hazards. And once again, hazards is another word for danger. If you see the word hazard, it means danger, so beware. And if you see a sign like this one, the skull and crossbones, be very aware, because it means danger of death. If you ever go near electricity pylons or very toxic chemicals, you will see that sign, skull and crossbones. Be very careful, because it means you could die. If we live in a polluted environment, we will take in unhealthy substances to our body. Yes, the polluted air is full of dangerous chemicals and substances. And the more we breathe it in, the more unhealthy it is. If this problem continues, our health will begin to fail. And we will become sick easily. Yes. Have a look at the picture. Look at the amount of smoke here. These children are on their way to school. And look how they have to walk to school. All of the air pollution and the smoke. Do you think that is healthy? Very unhealthy. Would you like to live like that? No. Very bad for our health. What country do you think this is? India, yes. Now, India has a big problem with pollution. Because the cities are so populated, so many people live there, they have so much smoke. And the people have to live like this, and it's not healthy at all. Air pollution 
affects the eyes, throat, and lungs. This can cause coughing and chest tightness. Yes, because we have to breathe in the unhealthy air, it affects our throat and our lungs, and it can make us unwell and cough. And the more we breathe in, the more unhealthy it is. The smoke coming from the car to create air pollution. If it gets worse, people can get infections, such as pneumonia, bronchitis, and asthma. Yes, if they get really sick, they have to use special machines. Have you ever seen these machines before? This is for people who suffer with asthma. What they need, they need to take something to help them breathe because their chest and their lungs is infected. They have to have a special machine that they put in their mouth here and then they press down. And this will create a gush of air will go into the mouth. So it will help them to breathe. And that's what happens if we get air pollution a lot. We get diseases and infections like asthma. Next one, water pollution can affect our health in many ways too. Depending on the substances involved. Yes, and we already know, like we did in the previous lesson, the main substance is rubbish or trash. And the big problem is with plastic. That's why we're asked to recycle plastic as much as often. Plastic bottles, plastic bags, even plastic straws. Because look how much plastic ends up in the, with the water. The biggest problem with water pollution is plastic. And it causes so many fish and other sea animals to die. They get caught in the plastic and they can't swim. Water pollution can cause fever, headaches, and vomiting. It can cause death if left untreated. Yes, what this means is water pollution. If we use water to cook food, or to wash, or even to drink, if that water is polluted, it will make us feel bad and sick. And if we don't go to the doctor, we will feel worse. And eventually, we might even die. That's why it's important to always drink clean water. If the water contains toxic chemicals, it can cause organ damage and birth defects. Yes. Now remember that sign from earlier, the skull and crossbones. That means very dangerous. Stay away from this area because toxic chemicals. What would happen if you went to swim here? Probably die because you drink the, t the polluted water and even the fumes. You see the people cleaning up? See the special suits they have to wear? Gloves, breathing masks, Glasses and suit, because it's toxic, very dangerous, have to wear a special uniform. Now, does anybody know that insect? Yes. Mosquitoes can pass diseases such as malaria, yellow fever, and dengue fever to humans, like we spoke about earlier. Mosquitoes, you see here, the mosquito is on the skin of somebody. This is somebody's arm or leg. And you see this here, this tube the mosquito uses to pierce the skin. And what the mosquito wants to do is drink the blood. It feeds on our blood. But what happens, the mosquito has a disease. And when it drinks our blood, the disease can get into our body. 
and make us sick. But it's not the only insect. House flies. Yes, like the flies we see in the schools can pass diseases such as dysentery, cholera, and typhoid fever to humans. These types of diseases make us want to vomit or be sick or have to go to the toilet all the time. And these types of diseases are passed on by the common housefly. This is what a housefly looks like close up. And you can see here is its mouth, two wings and six legs. And then the final insect, the very, 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 very small ones that we can't see. They're so small, we can't see them. They might be in this room now. Fleas. Yes. That's what a flea looks like, magnified about 1,000 times. They're what's called microscopic, which is too small to see without a microscope. Fleas can pass diseases such as bubonic plague and urine typhus to humans. But luckily, these diseases aren't very common anymore. In the old days, about 200 years ago, lots of people would die. But now, because we have medicines and things we can take, people don't die anymore. But this one here, bubonic plague, about 200 years ago, millions of people died. And it all started from one flea biting someone, and then the disease got spread. But now, it doesn't happen anymore. Any questions, guys? Okay, that was excellent. Very well done. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation about some of the different health hazards that can be caused by air pollution, water pollution, and disease. And even though it might be a little scary for our students to look at, it's good for them to know so that they can be aware of how to protect themselves. And coming up, we've got a flashcards exercise for our students to practice putting sentences together. But first of all, guys, time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this stretch sequence, we'll have a game of Teacher Says. So let's listen carefully, guys. Teacher Says, stand up. Okay, everybody's standing up, so well done. <laughs> teacher Says, arms in the air. Arms down. Teacher Says, arms down. Teacher Says, turn around. Teacher Says, stand still. <laughs> teacher says, turn the other way. <laughs> and turn back the other way. Excellent, guys. Teacher says, jogging on the spot. Teacher says, arms in the air. Teacher says, hold your hands together. Teacher says, wave side to side. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Teacher says stop. Teacher says arms down. Okay, now into a little ball. <laughs> Teacher says into a ball. Five, four, three, two, one. Teacher says no need to hold your hands anymore. And teacher says jump. <laughs> and teacher says sit down, guys. <laughs> And teacher says, it's now time for our flashcard part of the lesson. So teachers, what you'll need to do is print off two sets of flashcards. The first set we're going to introduce to class for our students to practice speaking. Then we'll put them on the board for our students to refer to for the activity. Then the second set of flashcards have each sentence cut into individual words. We'll put our students into teams of two or three for large classes and have them work together to form the sentences that are on the board. And when they're ready, they can practice speaking. So first of all, guys, we need our teams. So Lakau and Bangpon, team number one. 
Prel and Down, team number two. Chu, Nadia, team number three. Pat, Pak Bung, and Net, team number four. So we have our teams. Now we need our sentences. Okay, guys, so sentence number one. Air pollution affects the eyes, the throat, and lungs. This causes coughing and chest tightness. Okay, so if you have this sentence, you need to put it together with the correct words. Next sentence, we have, if we live in a polluted environment, we will take in unhealthy substances to our body. Yes, when we breathe, if the air is unhealthy, unhealthy substances will come in. Number three, house flies can pass diseases such as dysentery, cholera, and typhoid fever to humans. Yes, that's sentence number three. Sentence number four. Water pollution can cause fever, headaches, and vomiting. It can cause death if left untreated. That means if we're not feeling well, we need to go to a doctor, because if we leave it, we'll get worse. Okay, and now the fifth and final sentence. Mosquitoes can pass diseases such as malaria, yellow fever, and gang fever to humans. So beware mosquitoes, guys. Okay, so now we have our five sentences and we have our teams too. Now it's time to give them their flashcards. So team one, Lakao and Pangpon. But don't touch them yet, guys. Wait till everybody's ready. Team two is Prel and Dan. Okay, but no touching yet, guys. But wait for teams three and four. Team three, Chu and Nadia. You're welcome. And team number four, Thank you. you're welcome. Okay, so all our teams are ready. Your sentences are on the board. So which ones do you have? You have to put them together. Ready, guys? Three, two, one, go. Have a look at the first word. Start with the first word and build from there. And these are quite long, so work together. Air pollution, very good. Mosquitoes, very good. Water pollution, excellent. And then, if we live, well done, Pak Wung. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. Air pollution affects the eyes, throat, and lungs. This causes coughing and chest tightness. Excellent, guys. Well done. Team two. Mosquitoes can pass. Diseases, diseases such as malaria, such as malaria yellow, fever, yellow fever, and gang fever, and gang fever to, humans. to humans. Well done, guys. Water pollution, Water pollution can cause fever, can cause fever headaches, headaches, and vomiting. And vomiting. It, can cause death it can cause death if left, if left 
untreated. Well done, guys. Well spoken. And now team four. Live in a polluted environment. We will take in unhealthy substances to our body. Brilliant, guys. Well done. Okay, that was a great round. So what you need to do now, collect your flashcards, pass them to the teams to your left, and then we'll do another round. So Pak Bung, I'll take yours. Teachers, you can see the activity we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video for the next 10 minutes or so and do the same activity with your own class. And remember, once the students have correctly formed the sentences, have them practice speaking. Then when everybody's ready, swap the sentences and we'll play the next round. So team one, team two, have you swapped yet? Okay, team three. So team four, are you ready? Team four, ready? Team three, team two, team one. So water and then look for pollution. Well done. And then there'll be some mosquitoes. Well done, Nadia. Air pollution. Excellent. If we live, if we live, Okay, air pollution affects the eyes, throat and lungs. This causes coughing and chest tightness. Excellent guys, very well done. Mosquitoes can pass diseases such as malaria, yellow fever and dengue fever to humans. Brilliant guys. Water pollution. Okay, you keep going guys, you're nearly ready. <laughs> if we live in a polluted environment, we will take in unhealthy substances to our body. Brilliant, guys. Well done. Well spoken. Okay, so what have we got here? Water pollution can cause fever, headaches, and vomiting. Perfect. You're there, guys. Well done. It can. Okay. Water <laughs> pollution can cause fever headaches and vomiting. It can cause death if left untreated. Brilliant guys, well done. Okay, so once again, let's swap our flashcards to the teams on our left. Team one ready? Team four ready? Team three ready? Team two ready? Air pollution, very good. If we live in, very good, Nadia and Chu. Water pollution, mosquitoes. Okay, we're all on the right path. Mosquitoes can pass diseases such as malaria, 
yellow fever and dengue fever to humans. Brilliant, guys. Well done. Really? Water pollution can cause fever, headaches, and vomiting. It can cause death if left untreated. Brilliant, guys. Well done. Okay, team three. If we live in a polluted environment, we will take in unhealthy substances to our body. Well done. Well spoken, guys. And team four. Air pollution affects the... Not quite this. We need the... And this to swap. There we go. Affects the eyes, throat, and lungs. This causes coughing and chest tightness. Brilliant, guys. Very well done. Give yourselves all a big round of applause, guys. That was great. And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. So teachers, make sure every student in your class gets their own worksheet. And what we've got today is nine sentences relating to the PowerPoint that we've seen about health hazards. So each sentence has a word missing. Those words are contained in the word box at the top. Our students need to read each of the sentences and then write the correct word in the space to complete it. And some of the examples are on the board too from the flash activity. So what's the first thing to do, guys? Write our names on top. Give our students around 10 minutes to complete this activity and monitor the class, help them with anything they need. So luck out for you. You're welcome. Net, here's yours. Back boom for you. Bang boom for you. Prow, here's yours. Pat for you. Nadia, this one's for you. Sam, for you. You're welcome. And you. So guys, names on top first of all, and then try to decide which of the missing words go where. So let's see, sentence one, if we live in a polluted, similar to pollution, but polluted, if we live in a polluted environment. You only need each word once, so after you've used it, polluted, cross it out, you don't need it again. And then pollution can cause R, begins with H. When we feel good, we are, yes, but when we are bad, unhealthy. So it can cause our health to fail. Health. Not house fly. <laughs> Air pollution. Correct. Air pollution affects our eyes, lungs, can also cause chest. Another word for sickness or disease beginning with I. We have a chest infection. Remember them people who had to use the special machine to breathe? They had asthma. Infections. Can affect our health in many ways, depending on the... We don't have it there. Begins with S. Another word for properties. Substances, yes. Rubbish, toxic chemicals, or oil. All different substances. So they can make us sick, but in different ways. Some of them can even make us die. What's 
water pollution correct. If we drink polluted water, it will make us feel sick. Okay, so it's not there, but remember, remember the toxic, that word dangerous. Remember the brown sludge that was going into the river from the factory. Toxic chemicals. Toxic chemicals. The first word, chemical. Any type of chemical will be toxic. Never drink or eat chemicals. Mosquitoes. What can mosquitoes do? Can pass disease such as malaria, yellow fever, and gang fever. Have to be very careful of mosquitoes. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to choose the correct words from the word box to complete the sentences. My students here all did a brilliant job. And to finish, we're going to practice speaking now. So ready, guys? If we live in a polluted environment, we will take in unhealthy substances to our body. Yes. And number two, pollution can cause our health to fail and we will become sick easily. Air pollution affects the eyes, throat and lungs. This can cause coughing. <coughs> coughing and chest tightness. Air pollution can also cause chest infections such as pneumonia, bronchitis and asthma. Water pollution can affect our health in many ways depending on the substances Involved. Water pollution can cause fever, headaches, and vomiting. It can cause death if left untreated. If the water contains toxic chemicals, it can cause organ damage and birth defects. Mosquitoes can pass diseases such as malaria, yellow fever, and dengue fever. And finally, house flies can pass diseases such as dysentery, cholera, and typhoid fever to humans. Guys, very well done. That was good judgment. And that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson and found it interesting too, and are now more aware of health hazards caused by air pollution, water pollution, and disease. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we wave to say goodbye, guys? Bye-bye. Yeah. See you again soon.